It's an important tournament, uh, and I think oftentimes people misunderstand how important it can be. Uh, the fact of the matter is it's the shortest path to, to make it to the CONCACAF Champions League, which is becoming a really big deal, um, a big deal for everyone in MLS, um, a, a great opportunity to, to place yourself at the, at the stage of some of the world's best um, by winning that. So this is the, the shortest and most direct route to that, uh, and so we look at this as an opportunity. Uh, it's also a chance to, to win a trophy, um, and we're never going to take that situation lightly. With the number of matches that you have, the travel, the injuries, what kind of lineup do you think you'll have out there on Wednesday? Uh, we're going to have a very strong lineup. Uh, there's no doubt about it. Um, we uh, Obviously, we have to consider all these things, as you said. We play Saturday, we play again next Saturday, we play again next Wednesday. So there will be some rotation uh, through all of these matches. Um, but we believe in all of our guys, and, and I think it's going to be a very strong lineup. Is it times like this where the club misses OCD just for a chance to get players that didn't usually play some match minutes before uh, they, they're needed in rotation like this? You know, I think there's no doubt that um, that, that situation was a really good one and an ideal one for us to have um, a second team, a formal second team to, to play our players and to see whether or not they're ready. Um, you know, last weekend we, we played Donnie uh, Toyo, who's, who's played his first match in the league um, this season, and we have to kind of 50-50 sort of guess whether he's ready through the scrimmage matches that we can set up occasionally on weekends or the training sessions. Um, and the ideal world is to have a, a second team, a formal second team, where they're playing competitive matches and you can actually see it uh, and know for sure. Um, so it is something that I think we miss and hopeful that that comes back in the near future. What's the status of Dom and what <clears throat> Um, both are day-to-day. -day. Dom is now, will train fully today um, with the team. Uh, and so we think that's heading in a very positive direction. Uh, Lamine will not be training fully with the team today, but we are taking him with us on the road trip in the, in the belief that he will be ready in the, in the near, near future. Is Amro back? Uh, Amro will join us tonight. Uh, he's traveling back from, uh, from Europe, from Italy actually, where his uh, latest World Cup camp was. He didn't make the, make the final selection for the World Cup, so he'll be joining us, which we're very, very pleased about. A disappointment for Amaro, but it, it, is it positive just to have a set of troop center back back and someone of his caliber? Yeah, no doubt. We're, uh, from our point of view, we're very happy um, to have him back, and it's important we express to him how important we think he is for us. Uh, I know it's a very, very disappointing situation to not make the World Cup. Um, but I've been messaging with him, and he's handling it in a very good way. He's really thankful for the opportunity he got and really happy about the experience he had. And now I think he looks at that situation and says, it's it's there for me in the future, and I'll go for it. How excited are you for Yoshi? Very excited for Yoshi. Um, he's played in the two games leading up um, to this to this stage of, of their preparations, and from all accounts has played really, really well, which doesn't surprise me because I think he left us in a, in a fantastic form. How does it change your preparation facing an MPSL team where maybe there's less video footage? It doesn't. It doesn't. Um, we, had, uh, we have video footage of all three of their Open Cup matches to date, uh, and so we're very well prepared. What sort of challenges do they present? Um, it's a team that, that I think it's all about you know, the respect that you give them. Um, if we go into this match thinking that they're, they're not a full professional team, they're not a first division team, they're not a second division team, if we're focused on that, um, then that will hurt us for sure because they have quality players, they have experienced players, they have players that are you know, mostly foreign players that are coming from, from lots of professional sp experience in their countries. Uh, and it's a team that I think is, is pretty well tactically versed as well. Uh, and so for me, it's a, we need to respect this opponent. We need to do the right things. What are going to be your team goals this year for the Open Cup and did they change from last year's? Um, no, no. I, you know, I, I, I'm certain that last year we went into this situation thinking the same thing. We want to win this. Uh, we put out a lineup last year that we believe was strong enough to beat Miami. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't on the day. Miami was a very, very strong team last year, as they proved. They went on to, to beat another MLS team after us. Um, and this year is this, this, the exact same situation. We go into this with a, a positive mindset, competitive mindset, that we're there to win. What's, go ahead, man. Uh, what's the mindset of the team right now? Now you travel across the country, a couple games in Canada, obviously four in a row that you've got. I actually think that um, the group is continuing to feel pretty strong about themselves. Um, certainly we've, we've been on the wrong end of results for sure uh, for too many games in a row now. 
um, but there's so many positive things, and the players see it. You know, you don't you don't have to to sell them a, a bill of goods at all. The players see that we're playing really well. The players see that we're doing a lot lot of things really really well. And now it's about those critical moments. From my point of view, it's about defending things in your box, making those plays, and scoring in the other team's box, making those plays. And the onus is equal uh, for me to make the defensive plays and, and to score the goals that we need to score to reward ourselves for all of this positive performance. With Dom Dwyer out, this has been kind of a chance for other uh, attacking players to, to step up. They haven't done so so far. What have you said to them, folks like Justin Miram and Stefano Pino, mm -hmm. to try and get their confidence levels back up? Yeah, for me, there's, you know, there's two ways to look at when you're not scoring goals. Um, one would be if we're not creating the chances, if we're not getting into the right positions. That's not the case. Um, we are building up well. We are possessing the ball well. We are getting the ball to the final third well. Uh, and it's al it's always seems to come down to that last pass or that last um, touch that, that, that puts things in the back of the net. And so from my point of view and from my personal experience, it's, it's a situation where we need to get guys to relax a little bit. I think they're putting too much pressure on themselves in those moments. I think there's a, there's a lot of pressure on all of us. Um, that we put upon ourselves because we want to do well um, for Orlando City, for this club, and for this community. With your experience, do you feel like it, you hit three, a crossbar, two posts? Do those even out over the course of a season? Maybe they hit and go in, or you know, <laughs> those are the things that you always tell yourself and believe. And I don't know whether the math is, would back that up, but uh, we'll continue to push forward and believe because, um, because as I said, I think this is a, I think this is a really strong team. I'm a big believer in what we've put together here, and I think that over time we're going to see some real positive things here very, very soon. So the trip from Miami to Vancouver is going to be the longest distance that any team in the MLS is going to fly this season. Does that affect the work this week, and how do you prepare the, the players for that? Um, it does. It does affect you know what you can what you can try to get out of uh, the training sessions this week. The, the fact that we have three matches this week and another match next Wednesday, that has an effect on what we can do in the training sessions as well. Uh, that flight is basically an all-day situation, so you, you, that needs to be kind of an off-day, regeneration day. Um, we're really, really pleased because our ownership group has stepped forward and get um, paid for a charter flight for us. So we get to control some things there. We get to control our departure time. We get to control the regeneration work that will be done on the plane. Uh, and we get to control just the amount of time spent traveling. So we're really, really pleased for that, and we look to take advantage of that situation on Saturday. Is it a benefit at all to be facing the Western Conference team after such a short turnaround and long travel? Um, you know, honestly, uh, at this moment for me, it's about picking up points. It's about it's about getting results. For me, it doesn't matter that it's an Eastern Conference or a Western Conference team. We need to go in this with the mindset that that we need to win. How does practice? Do you do you work on Vancouver as well during today, or you know, wait till Thursday? How does that? Work? You know that the. The truth is that we need to be very focused on Wednesday and Wednesday only. Um, so we are everything that we're doing in training today is prepare the to prepare the team that's going to play uh, Wednesday night to prepare them for Miami, uh, and then we will move past that game once we're past that game and, and focus on Friday in Vancouver, uh, on Vancouver. Uh, but our guys, I mean, <laughs> most of our guys have been around the league long enough to know the opponents and to know what we're facing well in advance. Last question, today. Uh, we have some of the very experienced players injured right now. Do you expect them to take them to, to Canada? Are they going to be ready by then? We're taking everybody. Um, we're taking everybody with a, with a mindset that the, the players that are injured are, are so close to coming back that the work that they're doing uh, is best done on the field um, and with the staff that's all going. Um, and uh, of course, the hope is that, that those guys will come back over the next eight days and be prepared and ready for Montreal.